Nice. Okay, I'm, I'm like, I'm looking at Matera. Like, you're always supposed to be looking at your opponent and not yourself when you're playing fighting games, right? But I'm like staring at Matera so intently when I have 50 meters. So I'm looking for the very unique startup right there of that, right? To try and react to it every single time. And I'm doing a, a decent job, honestly, I'd say. I'm doing, a, I'm doing a bang up job. If we get 100 here, it makes it a lot easier. Because with 50, we have to react to Hail of Arrows. If we have 100, we can just go through any projectile like this one right here. No! All right, folks, and we are back with more Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising action for you here on the road to number one. And oh boy, so I'm playing right before City of Mayhem here, a weekly tournament that happens on Tuesdays that I usually upload for you guys on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, we are running into clearly some uh, some pretty strong talent here as we are basically an hour before the tournament starts. We've run into Professor Nekotech here, a very, very, very strong Matera, if you were unaware. Right? Uh, definitely, I mean, we, we've run into Senpai Spider a couple of times in brackets, and they've given us a lot of trouble. Uh, Nekotech definitely also right up there with them in terms of the uh, the beefiest Materas, at least that I have access to here on, on my side of the ocean. So, very, very cool stuff here. Basically, the so the game plan that I'm trying to have... Oh, that's, that's wrong. Yeah, so basically, what I, I want to be saving my ultimate clotheslines for this move right here, but I'm just, like, finding it very difficult to actually properly get my, uh, my timing down there, right? I guess I should probably be a little bit closer here, too. We want to we look for her to do that. Exactly, right? That is a free ultimate clothesline punish there. But obviously, you know, we, we there's a lot of different ways that can kind of schmix us uh, to death there. Yeah, so they, this I've noticed already that ne already like Nekotech is a lot less uh, a lot less reversal happy than than Senpai. Oh, I got baited there. Unfortunate. A lot less reversal happy than, than Senpai. Like Senpai Spider, the first time I ever get him in the corner ever every match, he, he reversals. Right? This is horrible. This is yeah. This is like we're like chipped. Like we're we're dead as hell. I have no idea what to do here. I'm gonna like jump forward to get meter. Oh, fair. My, 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 like Mason, my only hope there was as soon as I landed, I thought they were gonna do something to chip me and then I could uh, prevent projectile invincible super through it and go from there. But no, unfortunately they were much more patient than that. Like maybe I shouldn't have been so preemptive with my attempt there, right? I feel like that wasn't necessarily like a horrible idea. That was just like a horrible situation. The kind of thing that we don't really want to, you know, the kind of situation we don't really want to get into a lot of the time in the first place, right? And once we get into that situation, there you go once again, that is a nice and free guaranteed punish there with ultimate clothesline. Again, these matchups get a lot more doable for Ladiva once she has some meter to work with, right? Okay, the butterfly's there, stopping us clean in our tracks to get a little bit of space going. We're actually not in a, in a horrible place here, so we don't want to just let them out for free, necessarily. We also don't have to take any, like, gigantic risks, necessarily, either. Right. Oh, I, God damn it. I keep twitching. I'm, I'm too I'm too twitchy with this. I just, I want to projectile Invincible Super so badly, but, like, I don't have to do it so preemptively, right? I really can just wait. And, like, like a lot of the projectiles, I, I can react to them enough to headbutt them, right? So why, do I, why don't I think I can react to them enough to, uh, to actually super them? I don't know. I don't know. But it, it's, just, it's a matter of, uh, of twitchiness, jumpiness, desperately wanting to get in, right? Oh, I tried to roll there, and I just didn't quite do it in time. So instead, I just let go of my block and died. Okay, okay, again, we have we have a game plan against Matera, but it's going to take some time to uh, learn more, like, how to actually execute a little bit better, right? That's what I said last time in, I believe, TNS, when uh, when Senpai knocked us out of bracket there. Ooh, nice. Round start, headbutt of the projectile there, gets us just close enough to get this nice juicer conversion here. And of course, Matera, yep, yep, no, oh god, I was going to say no reversal without 50 meter, right? So that's that's good, but unfortunately, I, I didn't have my headbutts there, so I messed up that conversion. Okay, but hold on, Chansu, Chansu, the, actually, I think Matera has less HP, too, than like most of the cast, is rocking 15k. So even, even, I mean, to be fair, the rest of the cast is probably also dead there, but Matera is incredibly dead there, right? That's where we, that's where we can sort of start to see the reason that I want to play most of this game just patient and neutral and then use my meter to get in once, right? It's because if Lidua gets in once, things can go really, really badly for Matera really, really quickly, especially if she doesn't have 50 meter when Ladiva does make her way in, right? Okay, no, no room to headbutt there, unfortunately. Again, I, like, I'm actually kind of okay to take a lot of, even just getting hit like this is building the meter, right? Which is not nothing. Okay, no, I didn't, I didn't quite manage to catch them out in that one. Unfortunate stuff, but it happens. Roll that. Oh, I can't roll that. Okay, okay, fair enough. Was that a buff? Or is that always the case? I thought I could roll that maybe in side switch, but no. I saw, again, if I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I knew DP was coming, roll was probably not my safest option there. There's probably smarter things I could be doing, right? But this isn't going to work. No, they recover in time. Oh, oh god, god damn it. And I tried to tech there, and they were not, uh, they were not actually throwing me. Bonk. Okay. Okay. Double okay. This is fine. Actually, I, I kind of like them spending some of that meter. It's actually, believe it or not, give us like a ghost of a chance at the very least if we can get in here once. Oh no, we're chipped. Never mind. We're, we're like this is yeah. This is like yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna say like once we get to that point, it's like damn near unwinnable against Matera unless he's like literally one touch away. Uh, once we get down like chip health, like I, maybe maybe I should be spot dodging some more of these projectiles instead of trying to uh, to just block them, right? Because the chip like it really it really does add up because we block a lot of these over the course of the set. But the ones we get hit by, you know, we get hit by. I suppose there's not much we can do about that. But uh, bonk. The ones that the ones that that we block are maybe needless chip, right? Once again, you just you just love hitting the ultimate clothesline there. Get 
down here. Gonna, oh, okay. I was gonna say I'm gonna down back, but I really again, if you if you're gonna do that, you gotta be make sure you're out of good space. Where uh, if they if they do try to throw like Necrotech just did to me there, they that you don't get uh, you don't get or yeah they don't you can get thrown for it because what you what you're doing is essentially you're giving up your uh, your Oki, you're just sitting there down backing right. But if if you're if you space yourself out a little bit, they can't even throw you necessarily because you'll be out of out of throw range. So. Bonk. Okay, okay. This isn't horrible. We're kind of we're kind of staying in the pocket with them a little bit here. There's that. There's some of those buffs. Maybe it's a Matera, right? Making it a little bit easier for a combo off of some of the, some of that nonsense. Nice, nice. I just like basically I was like I'm just going to hard call out here. If you're not going to DP because if I do, I, I uh, if you if you do DP, I don't lose necessarily. I had a lot of meter there. I could have made my way back in. And if you don't DP, I kill you. Right? Which is the exact reason that I, I chose that uh, decision at the end of the day there, right? Which is why I did. I went for the strike. Now there's also another layer there of whether I want to go for strike or throw. But I just went for strike because I had a, I had a good feeling about it. Let's say. Okay. Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay, okay, okay. Honestly, like as silly as that all was, getting this much meter out of the deal, exactly. Getting this much meter out of the deal is actually kind of sweet, right? Because now we have all of this uh, damage that we got we got here courtesy of Ultimate Lariat. Right, okay, we do that for Oki, we can't punish it, obviously, when it's like that. Okay. Kind of kind of very brave to do the, uh, the the rain of showers so often there when he knows I can punish it with Lariat, but I guess it's, it's a call out, right? He doesn't think that I will expect him to do it quite so often. I tried to protect Invincible Super that, and I just didn't react in time, unfortunately. That, I mean, the ultimate skill there is pretty quick. Uh, this is gonna work. No, they're gonna react. They're gonna recover in time. Okay, could be worse. Okay, once again, I didn't space myself out properly there if I wanted to just down back and bait to DP. It's unfortunate stuff. That is plus on hits. That is plus on... It is minus on block most of the time once I space it out really well. But it is plus on hit there. I can't kill you here, can I? I'm pretty sure that was almost combo limit. Maybe I could have done a, set, a little bit more extension there, but I don't know. Hard to say. Oh, okay. That's... What, oh, my God, we're gonna block this in time. God damn. They tried to... I, I mean, I guess they they uh, ducked close on and they wanted to punish, right? But any uh, maybe that was misinput because any punish really would have killed me. Or even like close L, close L, far L would have done it, right? But they, they went for something a bit more uh, risky there, and they were a little slower too, right? So we, we actually live there. It's awesome so far. This round has been absolutely wonderful. Now we have a Matera with no uh, no meter. Spends a Brave Counter. That's fine. Brave Counter is like it's it, Brave Counter is almost equivalent to HP for Matera in this match. Like how many Brave Counters she has, like directly determines how good we are feeling up about how the match is going, right? So if we get, if we can if we can like for example, I'm gonna end this combo in Super, not because I like it's 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 not good for the OP, but I just desperately I desperately wanted to have only one Brave Point because the number of Brave Points that Matera has is the number of times that we have to get in on her, right? And that is just it's not easy for us to do. So now they have. Zero, right? Outside of a DP, which is a very risky option, they can't really very easily get us off of them, right? Again, taking all these bops with the arrows, I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not, not I'm not mad about it in the slightest. Can we headbutt the butterflies? I don't think so. Like before they trigger, that is. Oh damn. Okay, at least we blocked that in time. If we get a hundred here, it makes it a lot easier. Because with fifty, we have to react to hail of arrows. If we have a hundred, we can just go through any projectile like this one right here. No, it was a little too. Uh, they, they they fired off a little too slow. This is gonna kill me this time. Yeah, yeah. That's what they were going for last time, maybe or not. No, that wasn't what they were going for last time. But that that also does function really well as an anti-air super is the general idea. But yeah, yeah. If, I, I should have been a little. Once I had a hundred there, I was actually in a pretty good spot to potentially win that round. Like my odds of winning that round were actually pretty pretty nice. Once I had a hundred meter, I was just a little too uh, belligerent with it, unfortunately. Right, a little bit of patience there would have would have served us very very. Very well, or I'm gonna get beat out there, unfortunately. Nice. Okay, I'm, I'm like, I'm looking at Matera. Like, you're always supposed to be looking at your opponent and not yourself when you're playing fighting games, right? But I'm like staring at Matera so intently when I have 50 meters. So I'm looking for the very unique startup right there of that, right? To try and react to it every single time. And I'm doing a, a decent job, honestly, I'd say. I'm doing, a, I'm doing a bang up job. Throw me? No. Okay, okay. I tried to bait a DP there, but I also tried to stay back far enough so they couldn't throw me if they tried. Are they gonna do it again, do you think? There's no way, right? Bonk, bonk. Okay, we blocked that at least. Now if they do any projectile, we can try to kill them for it. We just have to be careful about it. Oh, your spot dodging is not going to work. Yep, yep, yep. They're trying to spot dodge maybe a 6-6-L, right, as, a, as an OP option. But of, unfortunately, spot dodge is not invincible to throws, right? It's only strike invincible. So run up Super Skybound Dart there, which is the belligerent option I decided to go with. Uh, wait, we won that set? Run up Super Skybound Dart there get, takes us the game. And I thought that was the first game we won, but no. That was the set. God damn, I mean, obviously, you know, Necrotech, they're not, it's, not, it's not like they're fighting for their life, right? They're, they're warming up for tournament, they're warming up for bracket. But, like, that's huge for me, man. Like, I feel like that, again, like, I feel like I can very confidently say now that I have a pretty decent idea of what to do against Matera, right? I, I talked about it in the last episode, but Fairy, I feel like, is one of the last characters in the game, at least that I'm aware of, that I have no idea what to do against, right? But I will say, I got a very helpful comment from somebody on one of the videos. I talked about how the reason, so you saw what we were doing with Matera there, right, is we're headbutting 
belligerently to gain meter. Because we have we're, we're, one of the nice things that one of the unsung sorts of parts about Lidiva having 18,000 health, it doesn't really matter when somebody's hitting you with a giant corner combo, right? At the end of the day, people do enough damage to two touch just about everybody if they get like the proper starter, even with 18,000 health and full brave points, uh, depending on the character, of course. Matera, for example, has a little bit less damage. But the actual nice thing about Lidiva having 2,000 two extra HP there, is that's like a couple of those arrows that I can basically ignore. I can, I, can, I can just do this over and over if I'm far enough away that Nekotech, Nekotech can't whiff punish me for it, right? But if they're just hitting me with arrows, I can just do this really belligerently. And if, if uh, you know, I'm going to hit one of the projectiles they shoot, I'm going to get 16% or like 20% meter for it, right? And, and just a couple of those, and suddenly I have a gun, right? Suddenly I go from being completely worthless in the neutral to having this, right? A couple more of those, and I can do this, right? So building meter is, in, in matchups where you're trying to zone out Lediva, the last thing you want is for her to have meter. That's when things get scary all of a sudden, especially with this game again being a one button special one button super game right so when i i see matera's arm go up slightly there to do rain of arrows i'm mashing this it's one button right i, I could also do you know two three uh two one four u that takes a little bit more time though i'm just doing the the simple input version because it is i need the fastest reaction i can get same thing with the projectile invincible super it's one button right uh, with all that being said, the point is that with Fairy, I found it difficult to safely build meter, but I'm going to try and... Uh, this Lancelot's not going to give me too much time, but if you look at the meter gain right away here, I'm going to walk forward. You see? Already 5%. It's obviously a lot slower than headbutting projectiles, right? But you can gain a... And but the thing about Fairy is you have a lot more time in neutral because that problem I was running into with Nekotech where they were putting me down to chip distance health and then killing me, Fairy's not really... Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that projectile was very slow rolling. That was a little bit ambitious. Uh, Fairy's not really going to do that to me because most of her normals are... Most of her, her zoning options are normals, right? They're not getting me closer to chip distance, right? And and the uh, the one we the one that is a projectile, the one we can headbutt it. We can just play like it's, you know, then we are... It's like we are playing against Matera at that point, right? This is minus. I'm gonna take my turn. I'm gonna. Oh, I was a little early there, with the with the grab, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I was not ready to react to that. But yeah, that's the, that's the general idea. Is walking forward and backward is a slower way to build meter, but it's a safer way to build meter. And against fairy, we have the time. We have the extra time to build that meter. And we can, and ultimate clothesline. Jessica calls out some options from Matera hardcore. It does the same thing to fairy, right? There are a lot of like the GG calls for. Oh wow, I need to be holding the guard button. It's Lancelot. I forgot. Uh, we, we were just playing such a slow-paced game versus Matera, and now we're in like a different stratosphere, right? Yeah, yeah, and getting your Brave counter baited by Lancelot is even worse when you've got the, the freeze effect on you there, which doubles the startup of all your moves. I'm holding the guard button. That's the only reason I'm still alive in case you're... Is this plus? Maybe? And the only reason I'm still alive in case you were curious there is because I was holding the guard button, right? He gonna do the dash? Yes, he is. Okay, okay, he did that before too. Right, the reason I was jumping there is because he always followed that dash behind with the uh, with the the ex dash there. So I jumped the one time and landed. And I think he's. I thought he was gonna be like, okay, well now he's not gonna jump again. And I, in fact, I was gonna jump again. Nice staring contest there. I waited out the DP, but he went a little too fast from or a little too slow for my liking actually. He, he waited good patience on the DP there to get me when I was least expecting it. This is not going to kill me, is it? No, it's not, but it's going to be painful. And now we're at chip distance, so now we're going to die to like, yeah, that. That's why I was, I was looking out for that too, is because I figured he would be definitely trying to uh, to get me with that. That's killable on block. It's like minus 27. Okay, we can do something like, no, I did it. I messed it up. I messed it up horribly. I messed it up horribly, man. Goddamn. Uh, three hits of the auto combo there is not what you do. You do two hits into the anti-air grab, unfortunately. But I just was a little... I, I wanted the extra damage, and I wasn't sure. I could have done another Raging Strike extension, too, actually, after the third hit of the all combo, I think. Come to think of it. That might have been a better option for me. He guessed command grab. He guessed correctly. Still, not a, a mechanical flub there. We will take those. Oh, wow. He missed his throw, even though I got my Brave counter baited. He was a little early with his throw. And uh, we, we walk away with our lives for it. From Instead of what would be a lot of Oki for him and, punt and damage and things like that, we instead get a very, very clever start to the round here. Get bonked. Close L, close L into mix, man. So you can do strike or throw still off of that juncture there, right? Is it going to kill you? I'm going to hope it does, but it might not. And eh, I don't think it will. Yeah, not not quite, unfortunately. Let's go back here. Get, get wrecked, nerd. Oh, I tried to jump up and meet him with an ultimate command grab, but no such luck. This is going to be spooky. I, I mean, headbutt, obviously, is, is an option that we have available to us. Yep, 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 exactly like that. I was waiting for it to do anything at full screen, then I was going to headbutt because I knew he was going to do a dash of some kind. I was worried that that dash would go through us on the other side, but I guess maybe that doesn't count as, uh, like, maybe that counts as it hitting you, so he, I don't know. I don't, I, I'm honestly not sure why that dash didn't side switch. Maybe it was a range thing. It was just barely, like, out of range to do the side switch. I, I, I'm honestly just uncertain. Regardless, I'll take it. Good to know that that works. Maybe only at that spacing, but it does work, right? Bonk. Bonk. Okay, okay, nice. We're running some nice pressure on him here. We have 100 meter now, too. So if he projectiles, which it looks like he will. Oh, it's this. No, but it's way too... Yeah, yeah. I have to wait a little bit longer for that, unfortunately. Get wrecked. Okay. I'll get wrecked instead. That's my bad, King. I, I was unfamiliar with your game. I could tear me to shreds. Nice. They added that extra whiff recovery there on the on the patch. I should have maybe tried to spot dodge that instead of just... Nice. 2H. 
There you go. Okay, it wasn't my greatest whip, my my greatest conversion ever, but it was something. I do. I'm still glad uh, that I two ate that. I'm happy about that part, but we will get wall bounced into death here. Nice, nice little uh, catch out there with the EX. Of course, the EX there gives him the wall bounce, so it makes even more sense he was trying to do it. His Lancelot definitely does like doing that dash in neutral a lot. That's something we need to be looking out for. Yeah, he's catching me. On, he's, he's timing it now to catch me uh, on the way down in the second jump. Ooh, do you? Oh god, I was hitting the guard button, but I did actually. He he didn't hit me meaty, so I had the time to react. But yeah, I could have been a little bit more careful there. Again, guard button, man. It's Lancelot. You, like we don't we don't block in this matchup. We just hit the guard button. Like we don't try to hold back to block. We should always always be holding the guard button. Essentially, get wrecked, nerd. Brave counter. That's fair. Oh, guard button once again. Save my life. Nice. Uh, I guess we'll do this just to build the meter. Right, now I'm going to do that, and this will give me one of my Brave Points back. Oh, he'll DP me, okay, but it still gave me one of my Brave Points back. That was a good uh, DP there on reaction. We got our throw marked, unfortunately, and I wasn't pressing the guard button. That's, I mean, that's just the biggest thing, right? Like, we, we, we had a couple of uh, unfortunate moments there where we lost to the Lancelot just because, you know, we either missed a hit conversion or, I mean, sometimes he just guessed right on our mix, which is totally fair, right? Or he, he, he beat us out of neutral, he didn't react to something he did. All of that is fine, all of that is still playing the game. One, like, if you're not holding the guard button against Lancelot, you literally are just choosing to lose, right? So I really, I, like, by the way, again, in general, against most of the cast, I should be doing this a lot more often, right? Basically, any of the casts that are rushdown oriented, all of them have at least one sort of side swap nonsense move, right? Most, at least. So, it, like, hitting the guard button in general is something I should really get more comfortable with. Because it's, I, I, sorry, excuse me. I, I mentioned this before, it still feels a little bit alien to me. Uh, in the sense that when I'm holding the guard button, suddenly it's like a lot of my, a lot of my other stuff on defense, it feels like I'm, my, 20% of my attention is focused on the fact that I'm holding the guard button, whereas holding back to block feels completely natural. Like, I can almost, like, feel a pressure in my brain. I'm holding back to block right now. I'm holding guard button and down to block right now, right? And it's like, it, it feels so much more natural in my head to hold back that when I'm holding the guard button, things even, like, blocking high lows, reacting to two Hs, deciding with the brave counter, uh, reversal supering, anything like that, suddenly just feels like it's a, it's a little bit more difficult. And the reason for that is that I'm not used to it, right? So what I have to do, Nier is still too strong, because he's still definitely very good. But I don't think he's too strong anymore. I think he's more so in line with the rest of the top tier in the video game. Just has her own unique strengths and weaknesses now. Uh, but yeah, the, the I think the, the, the way to get around that is to get more used to holding the guard button. The reason holding back feels so natural is because I've been doing it for eight years. The reason holding the guard button feels so unnatural is because I've been doing it for, you know, all of probably a combined 45 minutes of my time playing Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising or something. So it's, it's, uh, there's a difference. Even right now, even though normally it doesn't really matter, I'm going to be holding the guard button to block 2B here. I'm just going to try and build the habits. I'm going to try and defend, like, yeah, things like delay tekken, right? Things like that. I'm going to try and keep those feeling natural. Ooh, goddamn. Yeah, uh, even, even when I'm, I'm holding the guard button. Get wrecked, nerd. Get double wrecked, nerd. Triple headbutt. No, okay, DP. That's fine. That's fair. That's completely your right, in fact. Uh, do a projectile. So obviously 2B is one of the characters where we do the uh, Ladiva wins by, by doing absolutely nothing strategy, where we can't really we can't really expect to try and compete with this character in neutral and come out of it with our lives. We both got our brave counter baited there, and unfortunately they got they, they got baited first, so I I lose happens. Uh, but yeah, we, we can't really expect to contest this character in neutral and come out of it with our lives intact, right? So we have to just like play defensively and try to find a gap in her offense instead. Right, I feel like, obviously that's bad because it gives them meter, it gives them corner position, but I feel like contesting this character in neutral gives her all of those things and like 30% of our health. Just because, again, what am I supposed to, like, what is Ladiva, the character with the worst neutral in the game, supposed to do against 2B who might have the best neutral control, at least as far as buttons? With buttons, 2B might have the best neutral control in the whole game, right? As far as, if you're talking about normals, comparing normals to normals. It's like, what am I supposed to do about this? Right, the answer is, I'm not, like, yeah, like, I, I'm just not, I'm not supposed to do anything about it. I'm just, I'm just supposed, to, ooh, God. supposed to just sit here and then try and beat her out in some other aspect of the game where she's not quite as dominant, right? I'm gonna do this. This is a projectile, so we'll go right through it. Exactly. Now you have no break points, and I have two, and you've taken a whole heck of a lot of damage. You get six, six, eight. You gonna DP? No. How about now? Okay. Oh, nice. I, I was, I was outspaced, unfortunately. Get bro. Oh, there's a, there's a gap there for hammer, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, this is minus, but they did space themselves out pretty well. Get away from me. I saw them commit to a button there, so I went out. Get wrecked. DP. Wonderful. Very solid patience there from us, right? We weren't, uh, we were just basically, we were keeping our corner position. In that case, the worst thing you can do is let them out of the corner. Right? If you just keep them in the corner, eventually, like, something's gonna crack, basically. Get bonked, get bonked, get dog. Oh, that was supposed to be a grab, but I misinputted it. Came out as Lariat. It still worked out. It still worked out, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, the, the worst thing you can do there is keep them in, out, uh, let them out of the corner. So we just did our best to hold our corner position and go from there, right? You tried to back throw me into the corner. You absolute menacing villain, you. Now, once again, I will not fall for it. I will not be I will not be given the mind virus by 2B. 
Nice. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. Just nice and simple. Obviously, I could have done like a, like a simpler combo that didn't have a cutscene in it, but just like three auto combos into super is the least droppable thing that I could possibly imagine in that circumstance. So once we bait out the DP there, I was just like, I know I have the kill no matter what I do. Let me just make sure that I don't make a mechanical error, right? That's a, that's a thing too. Knowing the, the sort of the, the damage that your character has access to in different situations and knowing when you are, you know, you're kind of good to go as far. That's actually, you know what? They didn't need to, they didn't need to respect me there. Oh, okay, sure. They need to respect that after that third headbutt, Ladiva is minus two. 2B is a character without a uh, six frame normal, right? So this, like two headbutts is actually still real mix on 2B in the sense that, oh, oh the same thing that happened before happened again. You know, actually that, because I wasn't blocking there, they lost a break point and I didn't. So that's actually kind of not so bad for me. Okay, this is all obviously big plus frames for her. I'll delay tech this. He's got a, if we find one opening here, we can like kill her basically for it straight up. Okay, this is minus his health. So that's our turn now. Bonk, bonk. Breaking strike, nice spot dodge. Are we alive? That was a good spot dodge. The rating strike was definitely it was a call out, right? If they didn't block that, they were dead. Or if they didn't spot dodge that, rather, they were dead because they. Oh no! Are you, is, are, can you cancel out of this run? No, you can't. Okay. Yeah, two B apparently can. It's, it's kind of like her dash. Oh, just like everyone else's dash. She's got a dash too. But my point is like she can't. Uh... Oh, that's not, that's not safe. To which time? Oh god. Okay, get away from me while you're here. I would love if you got away from me. In fact, bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, okay, okay. That was a really good spot dodge on the 6-6-L, but they were a little too uh, they were a little too early with it, right? So they didn't quite have, even though they did add five more frames of recovery to 6-6-L in the last patch, it's still, like, you have to be, unfortunately, you have to be, like, still unfortunately rather preemptive with it to actually get a good punish. Uh, 25 frames of recovery with spot dodge being 29 frames long, right? You have to, you have, to have, like, most of your spot dodge gone to have the, the frame advantage there to actually blow them up. No, no reversal here from Mrs. 2B. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I guess that was with with no headbutts there. I, I guess it was pretty obvious that I was going to try and do something like that for pressure, right? So, so well played to Monsieur Madka's bad there. Definitely uh, don't want to go back down below 800 gems like how how we did to them. There you go. Actually, I was wondering they haven't been going airborne at all basically this entire set. I just wanted to do that to get out of the corner real quick. Like I tried to react to that laser. Oh god, I tried to react to that uh, laser with, uh, with projectile invincible super, but no such luck, unfortunately. Okay, this, this is a whole bunch of plus frames that we have to hold here. Oh, I tried to super skybound dart there and I missed it. It actually would have worked too, uh, if it wasn't for you kids and your meddling dog. Yeah, I, I tried super skybound dart after they landed there. I figured they wouldn't jump again, or at least I was gonna call out that they wouldn't and actually would have killed them, I think, if I hit it. But because I did the technical input for the extra damage, I did it a little too slow and I was holding forward and not blocking for a little bit there and they, they blew me up for it summarily. I was executed. Okay, okay. Oh, can't roll that. Cannot roll. I, I, was, hoping, I was hoping for her to do the sort of the back the back flip there into the projectile. Which you can you can roll and sometimes even punish depending, but obviously the big hammer there, uh, no no such luck. Okay, she's out of she's out of skill gauge, which is obviously my jam, but she got a nice little brave counter bait on me there right when she ran out of. So she can't even 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 now, even though she has the meter. Okay, there you go. Okay, even though she had the 50 meter for DP, she still couldn't DP. Yeah, that, that last uh, that was horrible. Sorry, that last round, this everything on defense I did was awful, unfortunately. But it's fine. We know what it went, we we know like I know what was bad about it, right? It was just the fact that I was I was just like desperately swinging there instead of doing the patient thing that I said I was gonna do against 2B, right? But yes, uh, even though there she had the meter, for a second there she had 100 meter and 2 skill gauge, which meant even still, I don't think she could have DP, right? So that's that's something to keep in mind with 2B there. Like, her meter is is very, that's very punishable. I could have gotten something a little bit better than that even. If she, if you do manage to actually uh, dodge or block that uh, that whiff time punish there, or that witch time punish, whiff time's a funny name for it actually. If you do manage to block that, she, and she's like super duper pooper minus, right? That's, this is not the combo that we should be doing, but I guess we're doing it anyways. We're doing, we're doing it now, well, fuck it, we'll do it live. We super you there, take your gems, run you for your fade, as it were. I'm gonna run up and grab you. Ooh, I'm gonna reach out and grab you. Okay, this is better. I know they're doing this for corner carry, but I'd rather do this than a super skybound dart to take my my last four brave point there. They just dashed up and raging striked. What in God's these, these this person is a this person is a madman. This person is an absolute madman, and I'm I'm scared of them. I'm gonna admit it. I'm gonna admit it. I'm scared of them. Uh, that is like I understand the idea there. It's a hard call outs, right, uh, for my reactions, but like. I don't know, man. I, don't, I mean, that was, that was just that was, that was a very bold option, I would say. Oh, tried to beat them out with far L on the way in there with the dash. No, no such luck, unfortunately. Okay, okay. Okay, now now we get to the point where we just we just kind of have to sit here and let 2B do what she wants. Unfortunately, we tried to do there out of a, a, what I thought would be a gap in pressure. It was not a gap, a gap in pressure. A golf, a golf, y'all. I think yeah, I was gonna say that's minus, and they didn't space it out well enough. Looked to me like we had enough time to potentially try and get a 6-6-L there and then B plus, and that is exactly what happened. So. That's what I'm talking about. I just talk about, you know, waiting. Oh, that was a misinput again. I'm sorry, sir. I keep misinputting my my uh, my SPDs as uh, as lariats, and it keeps working, which is obviously very unfortunate for for this individual here, because when they're when they're standing up to get uh, and getting hit by lariat like that, it's probably because they were jumping to try and beat SPD. It's like they had the right read, but I'm bad at the video game, so it doesn't work out for them very well. Okay, so we potentially could even, if, if he has another projectile here, we could try and kill her for it, maybe. 
Though a lot of 2Bs projectiles are very quick and not really uh, what I'd consider turbo reactable for us. Okay, well, we can, we can, at this point, we just need to, we, yeah, that's fine. We can guard crush me. I don't care. Onk. Okay, okay. Unfortunate whiff there. We still have a lot of brave points to play with, though, so we can keep, we can keep trying to use them. To find opportunity here. This, this is the same thing that's happened three times with this 2B. They keep, every time they do that, they, so at this point, I have to, I think I have to admit that I, maybe the first time it was, but the second and third times, they're doing this on purpose, right? Because they've noticed that every time I'm not ready for it and it gives them a nice big combo. So I gotta be ready to, uh, if I whiff a close line, I might even whiff a close line on purpose in this round and try to spot dodge it, right? Just because, or, or just like do a clothesline that is probably very, very likely to whiff, right? And then try to, to spot dodge their, their nonsense in exchange. This is gonna, yep, yep. The witch time is very good against uh, 6XL, especially after the patch, where it has even more whiff recovery, and that is a lot quicker at, uh, at punishing that whiff recovery than a spot dodge otherwise would be. Get bonk nerd, get double bonk nerd, get triple bonk nerd, get, oh, they jumped it. Fair, fair, fair. Maybe that was a little bit of a pattern that I've been falling into there on my offense. It's understandable for sure. Uh, okay, they double jump. I'm, oh, I'm okay with, with this occurrence. Bonk. Oh, nice. I did clash with them with Far-L, but I picked Headbutt after, which is a little bit too uh, ambitious of a follow-up, I would say. A little bit too slow to really... Uh, oh, this could have been the other one. I tried to do the other one. I tried to do the Projectile Invincible Super because I thought they were going to dash in or do some Projectile or something, and I could blow them up for it, but I was holding back to block, right? So I got that. You know, actually, another ins instance, right? If I was holding the guard button like I said I would in this 2B set, I think I would have gotten the correct uh, Super there. So that's, that's, some, that's some funny business for sure. Nice bait on the Brave counter to kill me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. They, uh, they kind of adapted to us a little bit more than we adapted to them, unfortunately. There. But again, I feel like I, I don't feel so bad about how we played that necessarily. I think just the, the clotheslines, right? Some of the clotheslines that got, that got whiffed like that, first off, maybe not like such a great idea to even do in the first place. But then after the second time that we got Raging Strike to off of the clothesline, really should have started seeing that coming, right? It just kept catching me off guard every single time because it's, like it's never happened to me where somebody has ducked under clothesline and then Raging Strike me. It's always been like they duck under and then get like a full combo punish or something. But that's what that 2B was committing to and we really should have taken note of that and tried to work a little bit better on on it. But then besides that, some of those close lines probably weren't even necessarily the best option in the first place. I know that we are trying to do our whole thing where we Belial. Uh, where we, uh, what was I going to say? We basically, we stay there, we're passive, and suddenly we try to cash them with an active option. But realistically, if we don't want to be greedy there, we should just spend the 50 meter on ultimate clothesline to force them to have to spot dodge it, right? Uh, instead of instead of uh, the EX clothesline that can very easily be ducked. Anyway, bonk. Bonk. Belial is again a character who is not, he's not one of these characters where we need to play the super defensive style in neutral. And in fact, we really don't want to do that because Belial's, yeah, and this is that, that the, doing the, the clothesline off of Brave Counter there is like, it's a good call out sometimes, but like it, most of the time people are going to down back there because it's it's your turn as the person who Brave Countered. People are going to be defensive there. It's only if you think they're going to like try and come right back at you that you do that. Uh, anyways. The uh, Belial's, yeah, his offense is a lot scarier than his neutral. So we don't want to, we, we want to do everything we can to not get to this point against him, right? Little pinwheel there happens. Oh, I wasn't blocking. Oh, I am blocking. Wonderful. I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna hold the guard button here too. Even though again, Belial is not a character that has any real side switch mix, so he's especially not in the corner, right? Of all things, uh, this should work, I think. Yes. Okay. Okay. Nice. This will this will really uh, even the playing field. Yeah, I'm gonna hold the guard button in general, just because I need to just get that habit in me, man. For for, for the matchups where it matters, and it's very especially in the corner. There's basically never a a reason to not like. It, w w if you're holding back to block, you get some like walkbacks that can help make throws with or other or other such nonsense like that in mid screen sometimes, right? But mid screen is also where cross ups are more potent. So a lot of the time, unless you have a very specific, like right now I do it where I hit the guy, hit the, I hold back to block all the time, unless I have a very specific reason to, in which case I hit the, uh, the guard button. It should be the other way around. I should be hitting the guard button by default, and then if I have a very specific reason to, like I want to walk back to, because I, I think they're going to throw and I want to make that throw with, right? That's when I should be holding back to block, right? The guard button is just better, like 99% of the time, not 95% of the time in this video game, and we should be treating it as such. Nice. Double close cell pressure into your death, Monsieur Nova. This won't kill, but the follow up afterwards will. Nice, 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 nice. Super jump? No, 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 not a great idea. He didn't have any meter for a follow up, though. That was a bit of a. Uh, uh, Oh god, a bit of muscle memory from him there, I think, too, after... Okay, that's very unfortunate. He did bait our Brave counter successfully, but he was too far away for his throw to work out. So our Raging Strike just hit him in the whiff recovery of his throw anyways. But yeah, that probably doing a 2H into Raging Strike into follow-up there is a bit of muscle memory, but without 25% meter, it just spends... It's actually really bad, right? Because it spends a gem for you, and it doesn't even spend a gem for your opponents. because does, like, a pittance of damage for them, essentially. Oh yeah, right, you have a 5-frame light. I also doing two headbutts, because I was like, against 2B, you can do that, and it works. But against Bilal, you gotta do basically most of the cast that has a 5-frame light. You can't be doing that shit, man. You gotta, you gotta be a little bit more respectful. I really want to try and ultimate clothesline this guy, but I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get to the opportunity. I delay teched a little too early there, and I got thrown for my trouble, unfortunately. 
You can delay my delay. Again, that is something that we're, we've been getting better at. It's part It's part of like the jumpiness of the Brave counter too that we've been working on. I think both those things have gotten better, but not they're not fixed yet, right? We're still a little, a little too, uh, a little too jumpy. I can like you can delay tech a lot later than I am and still be fine if they actually pick the throw. I'm just spooked essentially. Okay, okay, that's plus on block. This is all yeah, very plus. Cancel into a special there. Is he catch me out. This is minus, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Bonk, 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 bonk. Get grabbed. Okay, okay, okay. Nice little string of block there into bonking him in the head. Get raging strike nerd. Uh, oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. He doesn't want to spend the meter. He want. He would rather. He would trade his health for his uh, for his brave points. I think that's like not like a crazy trade to make necessarily, but I'm, I'm gonna take it for the screen position. If you don't think I'm gonna take it, you're crazy. Bonk, bonk. We actually could have gotten. Oh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna be fine here. But we could have gotten a lot more off that counter hit to end for sure. Oh, we might not be fine here. Hard to say. Oh, he baits my brave counter. Okay, at least he doesn't have a whole lot of meter to give him a whole lot of reach on this combo. But that's obviously not not wonderful. Gonna do this, and he's out of range. If I, yeah, yeah. If that was super skybound dart, we might have had uh, a discussion there, but unfortunately, it was not, so we did not. Bonk, bonk. DP? No. Fair. Pinwheel. Oh, command grab. That was a hell of a comeback by him, but unfortunately, yeah, that was also just like, I really should have spot dodged the last hit of that SBA, I suppose, the super skybound dart there, so I would have been in a better position. I haven't actually blocked Belial's. I didn't realize I had so much pushback on it, basically. I haven't blocked Belial's SSBA very often, believe it or not. Bonk, 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 bonk. Bonk. Nice. You thought we were going to grab there, I suppose. Or you're just trying to jump or 66L or do something to, to get a turn back. But no, you were, kept, were you keeping him locked tight in the jail there. You can DP here if you want. Yeah, I don't really care. It doesn't really get you out of your, your situation at all. Bonk. Walk, yeah, see, like right there, the walk back, because I thought he was going to throw. Like that's where the guard button is is worse than just blocking, right? But, okay, do this and then do this. He's doing, that's, that's going to beat us. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He, yeah, unfortunately, he who super skybound darts uh, second wins there, right? Especially with our our uh, reverse players not have a ton of invincibility on it compared to an SSPA. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate, I dare say. We got back thrown into the corner there for our troubles. We're gonna get thrown again. Next throw doesn't kill us, but it's damn close. Oh, ooh, I thought he was. I didn't. I didn't. You know what? I thought he was uh, doing a third hit of the auto combo there. I did not catch it. He was spot dodging. I, I saw him move. And I thought that was him committing to an auto combo, which is why I tried to brave counter, but no. Solid bait to do it after two hits there. That's not very common. God damn, well played to that Belial. I'll get one more set in here. I'll make the video a little bit longer just because it's gonna be the last set that I record before City of Mayhem. I wanna be properly warmed up. But I feel like I feel like I am properly warmed up. I feel like I'm not playing so bad, right? It's just that our opponents are honestly the playing, they're playing uh, pretty nicely themselves, right? There's definitely a couple of times like that Belial match we probably should have like again. A lot of the times, I, I want to block Super Sky Mothers because it feels like the safest thing. But, like, very few of them have more than 30 active frames, right? So if you just spot dodge on recovery, you're probably going to be fine. Especially, like, I know Belial's is two kicks, for example. I could block the first kick and then spot dodge the second kick, and we would have killed him there. Because the, the thing is, the it, it pushed me back far enough that uh, my normal punish of two or far M into two headbutts did not work. I could have done far M into clothesline, but I didn't think I would have to. Oh, okay, we're finishing it off. Uh, Luca wants to snipe me here. They were talking about it again. You know, we, you've seen, if you've been watching the videos for a while, you've seen Luca, uh, their attempt to snipe me a little bit here. Uh, they are, of course, a, a European gentleman. So this is going to be, we got a little bit of uh, a little bit of rollback to deal with, no doubt about it. There you go, far L. Nier is a character, by the way, she's like, I feel like almost, besides like maybe Catalina, Nier is like the ultimate example of a character that Nier, uh, Ladiba wants to be very, very careful with in neutral. Not like, you don't have to be like, it, he's not as good at like normal zoning this out as someone like Catalina might be, right? But when, when Nier wins in neutral, she gets the most reward off of it, um, even, even after the patch. She gets more reward off of winning in neutral than basically any other character, right? Nice, that like barely killed. Um, in the sense that her mid-screen damage is higher, is the highest in the game. So we want to be like, the, the, I'm only using far L there. I'm not, I'm not doing anything committal. I'm only using far L when I think it's, it's very obvious that Luca is running at me and I want to, I want to bop him out of his, like right there, right? I want to bop him out of his forward momentum basically. But otherwise I'm going to be like it, doing nothing else in neutral. And if, if it feels like I can't, like far L is failing me, I'm gladly going to just take whatever it is he wants to pressure me with and just try to find a gap in his offense instead, right? Because it is terrifying to actually try to deal with, oh, that actually, my, my raging strike got out in time. So I lost my brave point, which is heartbreaking stuff. Okay, he's waiting for death to be back. That's understandable. Okay, this, this movie can spot dodge these days, but I, I still am not super good at, at reacting to it. That was a really nice 2M there. Just kind of take my, my legs out from under me. Understandable. Have a nice day. Bonk, bonk, bonk. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys, what do you guys think? I don't know. I don't know what I think. The Euro projectile. That's a projectile. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Always keep that in mind. Death is a projectile. Are you gonna DP? I think I think you are. Yeah, you are. Okay, nice. And now that you can't special cancel out of that, Nier's DP goes from one of the hardest to punish in the game to one of the easiest. You're like plus 30 or something like that after you block that, which is uh, very, very nice. Plus 30 point blank. He's not like moving around or anything like that. So it's uh, it's, it's very nice. It's very nice. All right, nice. We, we take a, a win over Luca. I think Luca technically still has a winning uh, set count on me overall, right? So I would definitely like to, uh, to fix that if I can help it. 
Right, so uh, that winning that one game there is, is a good start towards it. Nice, yes, he, he's doing the light misfortune there to catch me because I, I ma I've been matching on that a whole lot, right? Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay, uh, he, I've, he, I've been matching on that uh, after he sends out death there. I've been matching a lot in that circumstance. So he does the light there because it's, wh huh? Why did that not work? What? I was like not ready to punish that because I did not, huh? I have to like ask Luca about that after, or maybe even lazy if, if they're around. Oh, nice bait on the Brave counter. Okay, it's going to be big pain. And they're going to be able to super... No, they're not, they're not going to super at the end. Okay. Now holding the guard button here. It's because I don't want to get any side switch shenanigans uh, imposed on me. Are you going to jump? No, you're not. You're going to be walking back to try and bait Skybound Dart. Fair enough. Nice. They weren't ready for that. Uh, they don't have death. They do now. Yep, they do now. That's for damn... Oh, no. That's not what I meant to do at all. Okay. Uh, well, hello? Death? Any any deathers? That's a projectile. I do want to... I want, I want to basically try and catch Luca out of this knowledge. Because I did it once already, but I don't know if, he's, if he wants to try me again. He might. Again, I'm being very careful. And oh, he doesn't have death. What am I talking about? What am I, I, I... Bro, bro, what the hell am I on about? Oh, no. Nice spot. Oh, but I'm alive. Oh, but he's alive, and I'm dead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, spot dodge there actually saved us, maybe. Nice stuff. We hit him with the 6-6-H there. And I, I was like, I was like trying to walk back and forth. I was waiting for him to send out death, and I was going to projectile Invincible Super through it. I didn't even notice he was out of death stocks, man. I'm, I'm, I'm washed. I'm washed. Confirmed. Get grabbed, nerd. I mean, good thing I, re I realized it before death was all the way back, right? But that, that's very silly, for sure. I should have uh, definitely kept it. I'm going to grab you right away here. Ooh, nice. Okay, get wrecked, nerd. I'm going to do this and then spot dodge. No, okay, okay. He wasn't DPing there. Bonk, bonk, bonk. No more death for you. Okay, okay, nice, nice. This is a great. This ground's going great so far. Okay, what do you guys think? Okay, he's going to break down. I was going to say headbutt or, or command grab. Oh, he baited out, but not, like, fully successfully. I wonder what happened there. Huh, he like, he spot, I guess he spot dodged as he, he spot dodged uh, a little too late, I guess. Not as preemptively as he should have. Tried to hedge a little bit there. And I'm not talking about how they say hello in Sweden. Death, come out, come at me, come at me, Death. Come on, I know you want to, Death. Oh, he, 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 very clever. He got to, oh, I'm dead, right? He, he can, oh, no, he can't skydive on that. Okay, one, oh, he, oh, he, wait, what? Why did SSBA not work there? What was that? I feel bad for Luca. I feel like a couple of his moves have just not, not been working in ways that I expect him to. This is bad. Oh, nice, nice. I, I rolled through death there, but then I... Maybe maybe even super wouldn't have been such a bad idea just to get me away from death. I, near, uh, near was too far for me to actually punish her there, but it still might have been not such a bad idea, right? Okay. Okay. Bonk. Oh, he's doing the light one a lot now. Yeah, okay. Obviously, the difference of the light one there is if you do block, uh, there's a big punish window to kill death after. But basically, it is it is a bit of a... It's not re it's not reactable, really, so it is just a mix, right? Okay, that my, uh, my getting my brave counter baited there is very unfortunate stuff. Really got to be a little bit more patient here. It's again near. Once he hits you, oh, I'm going to die. Yeah, it's going to calm up. Okay, nice. Nice second round by Luca there to bring it back. After the, the first game was not so good for him, and that second, and that first round was also a little bit yank. But really, really solidly played there to uh, bring back that second that second round of that second game, as it were, very dominantly. Goes, let's try let's try and uh, win the rubber match here. We probably should have won that, uh, that, that, fir that, that first round of that second game. But, you know, it is what it is. No, no use crying over spilled milk. We'll just do our best now at this point. Okay, death. I will mash gladly. Getting hit by the light misfortune on the bright side is not really that big of a deal, right? So it's not something. Why? Okay, why is that happening? I, I really like if I like if I if I can know what makes that happen, I can like try to, to do it, right? And then blow death, uh, blow near up for it. But I just don't know why that's happening still. Because so, I swear I've gotten even after the patch. I know they did some weird stuff with the the, the the hitbox every now and then on that, right? But I swear even after the patch, I've gotten uh, near DP'd out of my headbutt. So I don't know what's happening. There. I really don't. Oh, the side switch. He hasn't pulled it out all set, and he pulls it out now. I, again, the guard button, man. I was holding down. I was holding back to block. I've been talking about this whole video. Really got to hold the guard button a little bit more. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not, let's not let Luca make this comeback if we can help it. Reverse two us like this. Bonk. That's plus. Okay. He, needs, he, he respects it. He said still. He gets grabbed. This is a good start to the round. I'm going to whiff 6-6-L and grab him. Ooh. He, he mashed, which beat us out there. As you see, you see Death get rollbacked out of existence. That was very unfortunate for her. Oh, volleyball combos? Okay, actually, no. not. Oh, what the hell? I was blocking the wrong way. I, again, guard button, but that, was, that wasn't even a cross-up. That was just like me. I, I was I was just kind of confused. Okay, there you go. Wonderful. Get away from me. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. DP? No. Long. Get away from me. Okay. Okay. Oh, the light was actually out of range there, so it's still whiffed with everything being said and done. Oh man, if I SSBA your ass, you're like almost gonna die now. Is somebody to hold you in place for a second? Wonderful. Are you dead? No brave points. Nier has less health. I think they're alive. I think they're alive. I think they're barely alive. We had the, the close all that is to hold them in place. Yeah, they're barely alive. Indeed. Bonk. Oh, baby. Get chipped, nerd. Get chipped. 
get absolutely shit out. I mean, that's, I think, basically, especially with Death not being around from the Super Skybound Dart or DP, that's like checkmate, right? Didn't they spot dodge the first headbutt? I'm pretty sure I can do a second headbutt in time there before they would have a chance to recover, really. Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay, fair. That's not so scary anymore, luckily. So I can be a little bit more, when I have offense, I can be a little bit more belligerent. That's not, again, the reason I, want, I would rather match is because getting hit by that, if he calls me out of the light there, is still not like the worst thing in the world necessarily, right? Oh, he got hit by that and I was not ready to fully convert, unfortunately. Nice. Oh, still not ready to fully convert. We'll grab him out of the parry that time. That's always a wonderful thing to happen. Oh, okay. Far L there is not going to be our friend, but this will be. You, my friend, I believe. Yeah, absolutely. Else I drop this. There you go. Wonderful. Luca down. Awesome. One more uh, win there in our set record against him. He, he definitely put up a really good fight, though, right? I mean, he almost he, he almost uh, reversed two Otis there. Luckily, we managed to, after a bit of a disaster of a game two, uh, or at least a, a round two game two, we managed to pull it back out on him there and uh, put one more notch in our belt versus our ever-growing set record there versus Luca. But yeah, awesome, awesome. Again, overall, I feel like we, I, I'm not, I'm not so upset with how we, uh, we played this video. I'm really happy to get against uh, about how we played against Nekotech, right? But taking a game, uh, like any, anything, even if he is just warming up for tournament, is like a really, really big deal there. So I'm very happy about that. The Lancelot, I feel like we could have been a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more patience. We were rolling into his projectile a lot. We were getting hit by a lot of stuff. And of course, we weren't hitting the guard button. Uh, the Belial Nova, I think we did okay, right? I'm forgetting somebody. We played somebody else who, I, for some reason, like the, the match between the Lancelot and the Belial that I, for life of me, I can't remember. And of course, against Luca, I feel like we played pretty well overall. So yeah, I'm happy with how we played. Obviously, the, the gems, we technically made a little bit of progress and we had zero gems at the start of this video. We went to like 14 or something. But again, the gems are not what matters, man. Uh, we, we beat an, an 8,000 gem player in this match and we lost to a 400 gem player. So it really is just about us playing well and making sure that we are pulling out all the stops that we possibly can. With that being said, uh, I'm going to go take a quick break here before City of Mayhem starts. Uh, I think, yeah, it'll be coming out for you guys actually at 4 p.m. Yeah, so this video is coming out at noon today and then 4 p.m. will be City of Mayhem. So look forward to that. 7 p.m. will be the start of a new Elden Ring series. So that should be a lot of fun. Uh, anyways. All that being said, if you made it this far in the video, as always, I got four things for you. You know how it is. Number one, join the Discord server. There's a link down there in the description for you. You can join and talk about fighting games, Relink, Elden Ring, gotcha games, art, music, whatever the hell you want. It's a nice community if you just hang out and make friends. So I encourage you to join, but I also encourage you to keep it the nice and welcoming place that it currently is. Nobody's been banned. Nobody's even been moderated, really. It's just everyone's really nice. If I have to ban somebody, I will. If it has to be you, it will be you. So just don't let it be you. But number two, if you like the video, and I sure hope you did, get down there and like the damn video, man. Come on, it's free. It don't cost you nothing. It helps out the channel a lot, and I appreciate it, of course, while you're there. If number three, that subscribe button, that bell button. We're going turbo speed, by the way. They are right down down here to keep you up to date with all this content i'm throwing out to you every day we got three videos every day and it's somewhere between two and a half to five hours every day so once you have all that time every day for a little old me i recommend you hit those two buttons get notified when something new is uploaded and maybe go back and watch it later when you have a minute and of course number four most importantly uh, more important than a button to smash or whatever youtube friendly interactions hit me with i appreciate those but i've had a great time hanging out today most of all i know i sure did right it was fun we played some very good matches i think we played very well we were implementing parts of our game plan that we have been like against matera for example and also just like the general neutral strategies that we've been working on with ladiva we're getting better at them they're new keep in mind we've only been doing them for about a week right a lot of the like our, our neutral game with ladiva is about a week old in all of these different matchups so we're taking time to like implement it properly in a lot of cases and holding the guard button is going to be a big part of that but overall very happy with how we played uh, very happy with how we played that should, I, I should say uh, and i'm having a lot a lot of fun with Grambler is going to be a lot more coming your way. But until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace.